How does systematic racism affect people of color? Considering how America has instilled things such as segregation, slavery, um, the 1994 crime bill, which was blatantly targeted directly at the black community and not to repair it at all. Um, I feel like America has done things, maybe it's been purposefully or maybe it's been accidentally, but I feel like America has done things to diminish opportunity of people of color. and. Um, the fact that a lot of people don't notice this is also um, very hurtful for um, the people of color status. When I was younger, I experienced racism in elementary school since, you know, I was basically the only black kid in my class. It kind of changed the way how I felt about my race a lot since it kind of brought me down, like my self-esteem. They called me a lot of racial slurs and it made me really feel really bad about myself and we did um, I did try to converse with like an adult but that didn't really help either it just made it worse so elementary school is kind of a bad time for me I think they probably said that because maybe they don't well for some people maybe they don't really like are learned or taught about you know what African Americans or even people of color, you know, gone through over the years. And maybe even because they hear it around, you know, media or television, which makes them think, oh, like, that's funny, I could say that. And they think it's a joke. It just gives them that, you know, trigger in their mind that it's okay when it really isn't, because it can affect people of color. When people are racist to black people, or not only black people, but other colored people, it affects other white people because then they think that they're bad and they blame them for everything else. I feel like when they're targeted towards me, I, I personally do not enjoy them and I feel as if they're like harsh. Like white people usually be like, oh, like you can only jump high because you're black or they'll make jokes about parents or some stuff like that. I'm proud of my race. I feel as if I'm different. Well, considering that a lot of black people or even colored people in general in the media are negatively portrayed, like, or they have to follow a certain stereotype or what, you know, is known as like a type character. Mm -hmm. uh, not only do I feel stereotypes in media put out negative images of black people, but they also limit the possibilities for black people to get into media, you know, get into the media and get into fame and things of that nature, like. It's difficult for like a black person to get a role that's not a low, a, a like minor character thug role. It gives a lot of people an excuse to think, oh, this person's violent for wearing this outfit. Oh, this person's violent for wearing this outfit. Oh, this person looks like he comes from a, uh, a lower class neighborhood or an urban city, as they call it. And uh, because they fit the type characters that are portrayed in media whenever say, a white person fits that same exact type character except the skin colors change aren't perceived in the same way. Tell he or she to stop saying stuff like if someone makes a joke to tell them to stop. Stand up for everyone no matter what skin color. Do not say a racist joke. Don't walk away from a racist joke or comment. Tell a teacher or a grown up. Help the victim. Never let anyone tell you that racism is not a problem or is a joke. Be a friend, not a bully. Keep calm and stand against racism. Join a color union that help people fight against racism. And try to become a friend to a person with dark skin so you can know them really and not judge a book by its cover.